Here we are. We're back in the basement. Um, it's cold. It's we, fucking cold today. <laughs> it's really cold right today. Right here next to the heaters. Right here. There's the heater. Look. Whoa. Okay, so we've only had one argument today, um, which in the course of... <laughs> have we had more than one argument I don't know about? We've only had one... I still remember, and it just made me really mad again. We, we only had one argument today, um, but... Um, it all worked out fine. Suffice it to say, um, we cast iron other. pipe is really heavy, and neither one of us died. Um, that was the crux Yet. of the argument so far, right? So what we've discovered is we learned something today. There's a, a special kind of PVC called Schedule 40, which is designed for sewer and uh, waste lines and things like that. We got a bunch of that. It's a lot more expensive than your regular PVC, and uh, by about a third. Yeah, everything was uh, like. The regular ones were like a dollar fifty, and the Schedule Forty were two eleven. So it's like a third more expensive. Yeah. So we got the um, we got all we think we got all of the parts we need. Will thinks we're missing one particular forty five degree elbow, and I think you're right now that I think about it too. So okay. right there, right. So we are um, we're gonna start putting the drain slash um, vent back in the house in PVC, not PVC and this and that and the other PVC. Schedule 40. Schedule 40. So this is... So, yeah, go ahead. Th this is... Look, it looks like nothing, doesn't it? That's the hole. Where the there right now is stuffed with insulation because it keeps the sewer gases from coming back up. And then it's going to go all the way up here. We've got to reconnect to this line. And then we've got to go all the way through the ceiling. Doesn't that look exciting? So that is what we're about to do now. We're going to get that project started. We've got like $150 worth of pieces and parts. It's like playing Lincoln Logs when you were a kid. So that's what we're going to do now. Why don't we show them, show them the, um, the next little clip right here we'll show you is the pipe that we took out that's outside. Oh God. Now, we have hit it and knocked it out a little bit, but this is the cast iron pipe that was in the wall. Isn't that scary? That's like the scariest thing. I don't know how it ever worked. And the, it's she was just, living, she obviously was the, living there. There was a woman living in this house with this. It just, I, like, like it's insane. How did she not die Crazy. of the fumes? Just, for, just f Will's very worried about fumes. So <laughs> we're gonna. They will kill you. They will kill you. So we're gonna go back and work on this now. This is. Uh, we have worked hard today. <laughs> Plumbing is some dirty, smelly, hard work. That's all there is to it. So we. Uh, it took us about eight hours, maybe nine hours total between yesterday and today, uh, demoing and reinstalling. And um, we spent 180-ish dollars, but there's a bunch of stuff that has to go back. Rule number one about going to the trip Buy to Lowe's. Buy too much. Buy more than you need. Take it back. You're going to have to go back anyway if you didn't get what you needed, so at least you're going back and you're not pissed off because you're in the middle of a project. But... We've done a couple things. One, we have foregone uh, connecting the plumbing in the upstairs bathroom because we have to rip the floor out in order to redo all the plumbing. So what we've done as far as like right now is we've capped everything off. So it's all ready for the new plumbing to go in, it's but roughed. at this point it's rough. It's roughed. Yes, <laughs> it is rough and it is roughed. So it's ready, but there's lots of connections that are capped off ready for when we're going to do the other thing. But the sewage, all of the pipe, everything that we were worried about is secure and done. But and believe it or not, when we were in the middle of this project you could smell the gases coming out which is why you have to vent everything and why there's p traps on the um all the uh, sinks, sinks and, and toilets toilet and, and all that stuff you could literally like, and i was like you could truly the hell you could feel it, the heat uh and the air coming yeah, up from those pipes like you could, yeah, smell, and you could smell sewage it too. yeah but anyway. i mean not like sewage sewage so here's what we button. did we did i'm getting rushed along again and we're walking out of the video <laughs> yeah always all right okay so, I don't know if you can see it or not, but... We can totally see it. So, okay. you see the rubber gasket at the top? That connects the... It's a lifesaver. Oh, it's a lifesaver. It connects the cast iron. It connects the cast iron to the 40 grade PVC, CPVC. And the reason why that's important is because um, 
they don't have a fitting that goes from the cast iron to the PVC. Well, that is the fitting. It's a rubber gasket. They don't have a glued fitting because right. you couldn't glue it. So anyway, that is the mend there. This is the. Uh, this will be the, the sink, sink drain. drain. Um, but we've capped it off for now, so no noxious fumes come out of it. Down here, can't see. Can you can you put the phone over here? Hold on, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. This is construction by iPhone. All right, right there. So down here we have our main. This goes to our main stack vent, and then this is going to go to the toilet. It's capped off underneath the wall because when we have to pull out the floor, we'll be able to get to it and uncap it. This will go to the bathtub. And that's capped as well. And then the elbow that goes down to um, the basement. So that's what we did up here so far. Right. Now, we're going to go show you what we did downstairs. Is that close enough? This, <laughs> this is the close up. So, as is with all, we, can't, we run into the this old house drama again. The optimum way to run this pipe would have been to go straight up from the basement. But for some reason... It's crooked and it's off by about a foot at the top and it's touching the wall at the bottom. It's bizarre. They had some weird... They like jogged it. They had some weird like I but. made it on site jog. But with the PVC, we were able to do this. Now, the biggest drama is you see that part right there? They make these pipes in six foot lengths and that's it. So we were literally a foot like maybe 10 inches short now this was actually a piece that we cut salvaged out, salvaged right so we were able to we bought four of these pieces drag queen rules reuse recycle, recycle and rhinestone. rhinestone and this bitch may get rhinestoned <laughs> just that piece, just right, that piece and right there we put the wall in we'll have just a little right so we'll have the, <laughs> a little rhinestone window into the wall to to recognize the bitterness so but, that is the that's the crook that you saw upstairs right there that's coming from upstairs Go going all down. the way down to the basement now we're gonna go look at what we did in the basement Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> that doesn't work. I can, oh, oh, boom. oh, there, boom, 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 and then it went out. All right. So this is the pipe coming from the first floor. Obviously, another connection because they make them in odd lengths. Nice. It's so weird. But um, there it is, going down. Now what we have is this is the other pipe that we had to reconnect. That's the vent pipe. And then this is what used to go to the old washer and dryer. We just sink. put it, the old, oh, the, the mop drain. sink. Yeah, the mop yeah. sink, right, right, right. So we just left this in here and capped it off just in case we want to use it at some other time. And then did another one um, in case we put like some other sink drain or something else in that doesn't have to reconnect into yeah. all of this. So that's rough then. Yeah, that's roughed in. And these are really cool, so just like, now you tighten that so tight, we can't get it off. He always tightens everything too tight. All right, so that goes right in there and that plugs it so the, the uh, stop lighting the lighter. Stop so that me. plugs that um, just so that none of the gases come back out. And that is where it connects into the floor and- We still have to cock this. There yeah, we have, to, we have to, hello? Huh? We... What? <laughs> what Doing. I was, so I was explaining we had the car game. Why didn't I pull the camera down here? <sighs> we had to cock this. Okay, good. I hope he feels better now. <laughs> so we um are done with this part. Um, we checked the existing uh, lines that run under here. I stuck my arm in there as far as I can go. All the pipes are in really good shape, so hopefully... It's clearly got some air able yeah. to come through because, I mean, like... We could feel it. You, you could, could really feel, feel it. it. You could feel a draft coming it's up kinda it. kind of cool. And the, you could smell a little bit of the sewage. Yeah. And we learned all kinds of new stuff today. It's kind of cool. We learned, I mean, we learned about these sewer pipes and the way they connect and Schedule 40 and all kinds of stuff. So it's been pretty exciting. And we're done. And this project, again, took about eight hours um, and cost less than $200. Yeah. Um, it was hard. It was dirty and it was smelly. And hopefully, um, if we figure out how to get all of the... Um, uh, iron to the scrapyard. Oh yeah, we'll hopefully we'll make a couple bucks back when we recycle so. the 
the uh, the, iron. the iron, the metal from the pipes. So it weighed a lot. That's it. We did it. This is project number three. I thought it was going to be a three-parter. It ends up being a two-parter, <laughs> and um, we're done. Um, uh, if you guys are enjoying this, leave us some comments on the YouTube and let us know what um, you want us to do different. Um, I'm Will. I'm Tony. Oh, look. Cross-eyed. <laughs> um, and we're done. We're done? Yeah. Bye.